Hey everyone, I am long overdue for a video. And I kind of look like a hot mess. Um, anyway, um, life has been so busy. Like, wow. <laughs> Cameron had a well baby, and he is in the 1% for height and the 25th for weight. And they have zero concerns because he is following his little growth. Um, his little growth curve. He is different from all my kids. All my other kids were like physically advanced, verbally slow. Nope. Cameron moves. Like he rolls, but he has no desire to crawl, no desire to stand, no desire to walk. He can stand if you like hold him up, but he has no desire. Now verbally, holy moly. I have it on video on my personal Facebook page. Go Check it out if you're one of my friends or family member. Um, he says Nana, and he's nine months old. Like, that's crazy. All my other kids were like 16 months old before they said Nana, or 18 months or something. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have a dry cough. Um, he has four teeth that are halfway in, so he is teething up a storm, but he is so happy. He is my easiest baby today and that's not because they're all boys um he's just happy he's chill and he pretty much eats everything hates ham absolutely hates ham um tonight for dinner he had carrots corn and chicken and I have a baby food maker so I just mash it up and he had one cheerio today but uh he's okay with the thick baby food instead he also thumbs things like um Jacob does. He goes beep, beep, beep before like eating anything new. So I'm totally convinced if Jace had a baby with Jacob, it would look like Cameron. And the reason I say that is Cameron has Jacob's hair. Like it's thin and it's like light blonde or dirty blonde. And but he has Jace's face down to a T and he's so cute and so happy. Um, the reason I say life has been crazy is because I am literally, in my own personal life, responding to emails all the way up until midnight for different professional things. And I don't mean anything to do with YouTube, just like adult emails. Um, adult emails, whether it be bills or whether it be something important and I really I know I'm leaving everyone hanging and most youtubers are like oh, you're just trying to draw people in but that's not even the point of this video the point was to update you on Cameron um and I will disclose more when things are final and <clears throat> we know more um right now everything's just up in the air so I'm literally like okay here's an example I went to my mother-in-law's house today and I came home and my husband's chilling with the kids and I'm sitting here like running around like a chicken without a head. And why? Because I'm repacking the diaper bag, cutting coupons, filing coupons. I'm just, I'm the type of person I like things to be done and I don't relax until everything is done, which is probably why I've been up until midnight cleaning and prepping bottles for the next day and prepping breakfast for the next day and making muffins at 10 o'clock at night so I can stick them in the freezer so when the kids get hungry I can just pop them in the microwave and go. Um, but it's not every night. It's just kind of like two or three days a week I get to the point where I'm so busy and I have so much to catch up on with emails and um, just responding to different things that I literally am up till midnight. Now the other days I'm still busy, but it's not that crazy, crazy busy. Go, go, go. Um, I will have, I will, I don't have to, but I want to share the most happy, well, I want to share an exciting moment with you that happened today. I saved $31 on my groceries. Wait a minute, Amy. How in the world did you save $31 on your groceries? I um, went to Kroger's and I go there a lot and I had, you know, our grocery bill is like $250 plus diapers, so it's like $350. Well, they printed off two $10 off coupons for baby products, so I got Jason Jacob diapers. 
and then $10 off my groceries, and then $1 off my groceries. So $31 saved, and I ended up spending $8.90 something cents, 94 I think. And so I am happy with savings. I, you know, and then I was able to pick up free diapers from another twin mom today that got some diapers for free, and I appreciate everything. There is not a moment that I am not grateful for anyone and everyone that has helped me along the way. And I keep looking up because my camera is like up here, up here, and like, but the actual screen is like straight ahead. It's weird. So I'm sorry if my eyes are all like, what? Um, but anyway, so I'm all about savings. Um, and it's all things we're gonna use. I'm gonna use bread, I'm gonna use milk, I'm gonna use diapers. So I ended up paying $8.94 or something like that and saved $31. I am happy <laughs> because I love saving money and if I can save money and I'm not doing anything wrong or I'm just doing normal couponing, um, I, you know, that's $31 I don't have to spend on diapers. And trust me, the kids go through a lot of money with diapers. Um, I think I can safely say about 120 a month for four kids in diapers. Yes, Christian's in diapers. Yes, he refuses to potty train. And yes, I have a lot of people that know about that, but I've been trying since he was two, and he's literally to the point where he knows the entire process and says, no, Mommy, I will not go potty. What? Sit. <sighs> he, he is definitely testing me with the whole pie training. But anyway, this is just a quick little life update. I am still trying to film once a week. It does get crazy because Jacob is Houdini. Houdini. <coughs> Example. My mother-in-law was changing one of the babies downstairs and I was upstairs prepping Cam's bottle, I had to think. And all of a sudden, do do do. I see a little person walking beside me. I'm like, what? It was Jacob. He escaped the baby gate, climbed all the way up the stairs, or walked up the stairs, I should say, because he doesn't like walking down, but he's okay with walking up, and just started walking right beside me. And I'm like, you, well, not you. I cannot do anything without this child being, like, supervised 24-7. And yet, I'm so so blessed that he hasn't figured out how to climb out of the crib because I would be screwed. This child can get out of a five point harness. Today he learned how to jimmy because he's little. Jacob is a little thing, just like his daddy. He's really skinny. Jimmy out of one strap of his car seat, and yes, he was installed completely right because I make sure that they're tight enough and that his chest clips. He can also Jimmy out of a five-point harness from a car seat. So my life is very go 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 go. So I'm gonna keep up with the uh, um these videos as much as I can, but understand that as long as I have Houdini around and nobody watching Houdini but me. The videos do get harder and harder to film, and like here I am at 8 o'clock at night filming for you. So I hope everyone has a fantastic week. If you are snowed in, you know, po comment down below into how many inches you have. If you have no snow, comment down below what you're looking forward to this week. I hope everyone has a fantastic week. Bye!